Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Today I'm going to bring you a double crusted chicken pot pie, a very classic, very comforting dish. It's got a nice, thick, tasty filling between two pie crusts. Mm, we need this one today. If you're ready, let me go ahead and show you my easy recipe for this. I'm using four skinless, boneless chicken breasts, and what I'm going to do is cut these into bite-sized pieces. If you want a faster version, you can use like a rotisserie chicken that is already cooked, or you can cook your chicken ahead of time. But we're going to do it all in one pot here and keep it nice and simple. Let's go ahead, we're going to cut our chicken breast, and then we're going to season it and get that going. And so really all you have to do is take your chicken breast, just cut it into strips. And then just cut your strips into pieces, bite-sized pieces. So the smaller that you have your chicken pieces here, the faster that the chicken will cook through. Okay, in a large skillet, I've turned on the heat to a medium high. Now I'm using a Dutch oven here. We're going to add one tablespoon of some butter. We're going to start melting that up. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of some oil, cooking oil. Now I generally tend to use a lot of avocado oil. It adds a nice flavor and plus it's really good when you're cooking pots on top of an induction burner. Okay, we've got a nice sizzle going here and add our chicken pieces. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and season with some pepper. About a quarter of a teaspoon. And some salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and add half an onion that I've chopped up. Okay, we're going to cook this until the chicken is no longer pink on the inside. Okay, our chicken is nice and cooked through and no longer pink. What we're going to do now is add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to add three tablespoons of some butter. Then I'm going to add in about half a teaspoon or maybe three quarters poultry seasoning. There we go. We're going to stir this around for about 30 seconds. go ahead and add about one tablespoon of some dried parsley. One cup of some frozen peas and carrots. About a quarter cup of some corn. Now you want to make sure your corn is drained if it's not a frozen corn. There we go. So you want about a cup and a half of vegetables. So if you have like a frozen mix, you can use that. Just don't over put your vegetables in there. You want to make sure this is all going to fit into our pie crust. Alright, we're going to add one cup of some chicken broth. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and add three tablespoons of some flour. Oh, it smells delicious in there. I've got some half and half here. I'm going to put two thirds cup in. Let's get this all mixed together. Now what we're looking to do is thicken this. So it's already at a boil right here. And what we're going to do is turn down the heat to about a medium, medium low. Let it simmer until we get a nice thick consistency here. 
Okay, while this is thickening up, go ahead and take a spoon, try your mixture here, and see if we need to adjust any seasonings. Mmm, that is really good. I think we're going to need a little more salt, though. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Mmm, that's a party in your mouth. Okay, you heard my husband say it. Just did a little adjustment on some salt, and it's a party in your mouth. It is. Look at that right here. It's going to thicken more as we turn off the burner and let this rest while we get our pie crust into our pie plate. Make sure you pull out your pie crust. and Now you're going to need two of them, and they, these can be found in the refrigerated section, and all we do is unroll them. They're pre-made. So make sure you pull these out about five minutes or so before we start filling these pie crusts. Now at this point, we're also going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 375 degrees. And I'm going to be using a 9-inch deep dish pie plate. Okay, now when you take the pie crust out, when it's been sitting out for about five minutes or so, it's really easy to unroll it and to place it into your baking dish. If you pull it right out of the refrigerator and try to do this, it's going to break and tear. Now, if that does happen, you can just pinch it back together. It's not a big deal. It just makes it easier if it's out already. All right, so I've went across the whole center with that. I'm just going to push it down into the edges here. We want to make sure that the outer edge is outside of the pie plate here because we're going to need that. So I'm just going to push it just a little bit, pull it, because we're going to need the top pie crust to be able to seal onto something. There we go. All right, now what I'm going to do is pour the mixture. Well, we're going to use a big spoon and put the mixture into our pie dish here. Go ahead now and roll out the second one right over this one here. Now what I'm doing is just sealing the top one onto the bottom one there along the top edge here of the dish. Because what we don't want to have happen is all of that filling go out through the edges here. All right, now what I'm going to do is just take a fork here and just kind of crimp it together. Okay, what I have here is just one egg that I whisked together, about one tablespoon of water, and we got a bakery brush here. What I'm going to do is just coat the whole top crust here with the egg wash. Okay, we're going to cut some vent holes to allow the steam to escape. So I'm just going to go into the center here. Now don't go all the way down pushing hard because what you'll do is you'll cut the bottom crust and we don't want to do that. Just stay on the top crust there. I'm going to place this in my oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees. Now you want to put this on the bottom rack. Okay, and then we're going to cook this for about 30 to 35 minutes until it's heated through and that pie crust is nice and golden brown. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. It's very delicious. When you cook the chicken like that, it makes it so tender and it absorbs all those flavors. It's got a nice thick consistency here with those delicious vegetables that cooked in there. The flavorings, it is so good. And that crust, it's very flaky. I use this crust all the time when I make any type of pie. All right, 
Let me know what you think down in the comments and don't forget to let me know how you make a pot pie. Thumbs up on this one, you guys. Make sure you share this recipe all over your social media because you know people are going to want to make this. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification. All right, I will see you on my next episode. Mm.